One of the best ways to keep employees motivated is to set goals for them. To start that process, it's helpful for you as a leader to determine what work must get done. Get started with an assessment of projects and tasks that need to be completed for business operations. You will want to conduct this type of analysis regularly. Once you have completed your analysis of projects, allow your team members to chime in on ideas they may have as you delegate tasks. If everyone is on the same page, you will be better equipped to increase motivation and track productivity. Here are some things you can do to help this process go smoothly. Our first suggestion is to make sure that everyone understands the general context and importance of work that needs to get done. The underlying goal should be that your staff knows their part. The change process can cause some anxiety and confusion. Inviting your staff to discuss the big picture, including the importance of their contributions, will go a long way. For example, you could ask your team members how they anticipate completing their typical responsibilities in their new work environment. Pose some questions such as, who will update the voicemail greeting? How about the website? Who will oversee handling the phone lines during business hours? And how's that going to happen? Find out if any of your staff have concerns that you may be able to help them alleviate. It's very possible that your employees will think of things that you may not have considered. Talking these types of things out will alleviate anxiety as your employees will gain a better understanding of their role within the greater context of work that needs to get done. Once you've identified the business needs and potential gaps in phone coverage, consider the strengths of your staff and map their skills to the capacity. Be sure to communicate and delegate the most important tasks to individuals who have the capacity and skills to accomplish these items. Also, it's important to prioritize and reprioritize what must get accomplished. Check on your staff regularly to make sure your team members understand what you need from them and by when. A helpful way to boost employee morale as you manage expectations is to demonstrate support. As work comes down the pipeline, reassure your team that you are aware of the competing demands on their time. Sudden, unexpected shifts may pull your staff in many directions. You may need to cross-train team members, reassign tasks, or add outside resources. By setting a supportive tone, your employees will be more likely to come to you if they need help. This could end up saving you a lot of time in the long run. Our next suggestion for you as you manage expectations is to provide options to your staff. If there is a project or task that multiple people could complete, ask if anyone would like to volunteer. This will help create buy-in on the goal setting process, which also boosts motivation. Another recommendation is to develop a way to track productivity. Just like in recreational sports, people tend to be more engaged and try harder when you are keeping score. You could simply create and showcase a list of all the work that has been accomplished during check-ins. Or you could encourage the team to weigh in on a tracking method that showcases their progress on projects they're working on. Utilizing a work plan that is visible to everyone will also help clarify expectations. In addition, team members can mark items as completed once a project or task has been finished. There's nothing better than crossing items off your to-do list. We also suggest that you schedule regular virtual meetings to check the pulse on the well-being and productivity of your team. Invite the entire team to come together to check in and share progress updates during these meetings. Make room in the agenda for some small talk. This will help people feel less isolated. These meetings can also serve as a great opportunity to reset priorities and share updates. If you determine that you don't need to meet, you can simply cancel the meeting, but having one on the schedule will help keep everyone on the same page. Hopefully, these suggestions will help you sort out who is working on what and when. Now we are going to get more into collaborative resources that you can use to support and manage your team.